fucking seat, Adrian. Hello, hello, class. Welcome. It is I, the one and only Professor Spaghetti Man of the 34th Origin. Today, we are going to be learning about the one and only Simo Hi Ha. In the White Boy Winter, aka the Winter War of World War II, war is shit. It's crazy. People do crazy things. Professor. Professor. Yes. Who is Spaghetti Man? I am fucking Spaghetti Man. I am fucking Spaghetti Man. Simo Haiha was born in little southern Finland way back then before the war times and shit. He was a little farmer boy. He was on the Russian border and shit, chilling and shit and farming. And his daddy was getting that shit on. He was getting it in. He was fucking. Cause who the fuck fucks that many times and has eight kids? That shit is insane. Is this kid dead by this time in 2032? He's dead as fuck, Adrian. He's so fucking dead. Don't ever ask a stupid fucking question like that. If he fought in World War II, he's most likely dead. Don't ask any more questions or interrupt. You understand? Give me the pillow. Ah, fuck! Ah, shit! My eye! Before the times of World War II, he was he did his little mandatory military service shit and it was called that. I'm not going to explain what that is cuz I don't fucking know what it is. During the World War 1 times between 1917 and shit, people were riding bicycles with the little pedals and shit to war. They was like fuck planes, I got the pedals nigga and they was like oh ding ding nigga ding ding and shit like that. He hit his target 16 times consecutively from 150 meters. In one minute, Mr. Adrian, what are you doing? And if you would take a look at this picture, you can't see it. He has really big ears. He was a real big ear nigga out there just chilling and shit. Mr. Professor. Yes. What race was he? Did you not hear me say anything about Finland? You I said, said Finland. No, I though. said Finnish like five times. But I also see a Sujak block. That's the unit he was part of! Oh, okay. Mr. Adrian. What? Uh oh. What's that? Uh oh. Holy shit! Somebody crazy is coming! Union, the red niggas in the Nazi Germany, they signed a pact called the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. And that was basic, the gist of it was like, nigga, we finna split Poland up and have, we don't fuck with each other, but it don't matter, we finna fuck Poland and we finna fuck Poland sideways. And any spheres of influence we can get, we gonna take that shit too. Molotov! Molotov! Molotov is Greek for flaming bottle. Shut the fuck up, Mr. Adrian. I don't want to hear you speak ever again. Mr. Molotov was a Russian guy, right? And he was lying to people. He was like, oh, we're not fucking Poland and shit. We're dropping off gifts. And them gifts was bombs, baby! They were bombs and shit. You know what the niggas was like? All right, we got a gift for you too. We got a look. Molotov cocktail. And they threw flaming shit out of wheel like bitch! <laughs> like I said, they were um Nazi Germany wanted their spheres spheres of influence and Soviet Russia wanted their spheres. And it just so happens Finland was that sphere of influence 
and they wanted some of that little poon thing, you know. They wanted some of that little thing, thing. Russia didn't follow some of their own rules, right? So you see how they were going to invade them. Yeah. One piece of information I did not add was they were invading Finland around the end of November. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That makes it so much more funny. And that's why I made that joke about Napoleon, because Russia didn't even follow their own fucking rules. Don't invade in the middle of the winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were indeed trying to see what Finland was hitting like. Because Finland is hitting something crazy. Am I right, Mr. Adrian? Yes, sir. That Put it there, Mr. Adrian. Shut the fuck up, Mr. Adrian. At towards the end, 1939, that's when the Winter War starts. Now, it doesn't last long, but shit starts to go crazy. Because, first of all, Russia is stacked, but stupid. Ask me what this... What does that mean? <laughs> Thank you for asking, Mr. Adrian. It means that while Russia was sending thousands of tanks, thousands of planes, hundreds of thousands of soldiers, they were stupid because it's winter and they don't have winter fucking camel. They don't have winter clothes or none of that shit. They were, they were sending tanks in like... Horrible terrain in the middle of, of the snow. They lost a lot of their equipment while sending this shit out. And their soldiers were like, what's that? What's that saying? Sitting ducks? Sitting yeah. ducks. They were ducky. They were ducky sitting ducks. Ooh. They were sitting ducks. <laughs> Shut up, clock in, and load out says the Finnish army to Mr. Seymour Haiha. He had an M28-30. Brandon's gonna hate me for this. It's a Finnish variant of the Russian Mosin Nagant rifle. The shits they used in World War One. It went kick you, bow, kick you, bow, kick you, bow. I know about these guns because I played the acclaimed game Battlefield One, which I was a great sniper in. I am like a level 30 or some shit on a scout class, yes? That's the most hated Battlefield. No, it's not. It's Battlefield 2042 now. Is that the one with the woman on the court? No, that's Battlefield 5. That one got okay. Don't make me go on a tangent about video games, Mr. Adrian. Battlefield 5 was not as bad as it people made it out to be, but it was pretty fucking mid, Mr. Adrian. It ended up being okay towards the end, but you know what DICE did, Mr. Adrian? DICE dropped that shit and made a shitty fucking futuristic game. They lied to us, Mr. Adrian. They lied to us with Battlefield 2042. It is a buggy mess. I played the beta, Mr. Adrian. The beta was trash and I got my money back. Mr. Adrian, come here, come here. Those 128 players, they're mostly filled with bots, Mr. Adrian, because the player count went below 5,000, Mr. Adrian. The player count is so, look at the camera, the player count is so low. Battlefield 4 came out 10 years ago. Sit down, Mr. Adrian. I also played Battlefield 5. I don't like that submachine gun. I played a medic class. Look at the drip on Mr. Seaball High Hut. That, this is a post-war, like, picture, like, he was already, like, in the middle of doing this shit, but that's an honorary rifle, that's not his actual rifle, but this is, like, basically the shit he's wore, like, look at the fucking drip on that, and they got the Denver Nugget, he got the Denver Nugget coat on, <laughs> Mr. Adrian, he has the Denver Nugget coat he's on, he's the Denver Nugget drip, he ain't the Denver Nugget drip, who is the red-headed lady in the back, though? Here are the tactics of Mr. Simo Haiha. What? I want, to know, Why you... I want to know who the lady in the back was. Oh. He was an iron sights menace. When you, you have a scope on the gun, do you notice that 
you have to hold your head up a little bit higher to look through the scope. Well, Mr. Hi Hud did not need to do that since he had he was an iron sight boy. He was a little bit of a he was a no scoping and he was a distance dominator. He could shoot a bitch nigga from over a kilometer away because while the Russians were in unknown territory and shit, he was in his own backyard. He does this shit. He be out here, boop 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 bitty boopin. The opposition was like, oh shit. It's negative 40 degrees Celsius out here? Oh my god, that's too cold for me. Simo Haiha was like, fuck it, I was gonna be in this. And he was like, boom, bing bang, boom, bop, pow. Like that's the like that's how crazy he was. Like nobody could ever catch him or anything. Did you have a question, Mr. Adrian? Yeah, I wanted to know if that was actually Simo in the picture. Yes! That's Simo. Why would I not have a picture of Simo? Hmm? Explain that to me, Mr. Adrian. Why would I not have pictures of Simo Haiha if I am te teaching you about Simo Haiha? Every tactic he had, all that carefulness, it soon paid off because he killed so many people that he became known to the Soviets, them Red Boys, them Joey Boys as. The White Death. He was a very calculated, meticulous, he was a very careful person, as I have stated many times before. They had to resort to the artillery barrages, like in any random spot. They were just throwing a bitch. They were like, arrow, 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 Mr. Adrian. They were like, arrow, it's shit. 500 kills? That's, that's a lot of people. Over 500. The um, actual number isn't known. But it's between like 505 and at the very most 542. I like to give him the benefit of the say he got that 542. Got got. The, the, the shit got him. Mr. High High, he survived. But um, that artillery barrage I was talking about, it fucked him up. At first, people thought he was dead, so they threw him in a pile of dead bodies. As soon as he was, he started like, I'm moving. I'm moving, I'm moving, and I'm grooving. And they were like, oh shit, he's alive. Ew, look at his jaw. Oh my God. He passed in 2002. He passed in the age of the flip phone. He will ever, forever be number one alongside Smitty Werbin Jaeger Man Jensen. He made it out, you know. He had to get, I think, surgery three times to like get a normal looking like Days relatively normal, but he made it out. <laughs> a little bit moist, Mr. Adrian. Yeah, he's a little wet, though. <laughs> a little bit moist around the chin area, Mr. Adrian. Maybe this was like. Do you random. have any opinions on his photo, Mr. Adrian? I could tell it was a very tense moment because it looks very sweaty and like he had just finished. You know, topping off about a hundred guys. Why is it wide, bro? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Here are my sources and everything I use to get this information. I use Wikipedia and I use YouTube. Fuck you, high school teachers. <laughs> Wikipedia is a legitimate source, okay? You can go to Wikipedia. Fuck you, suck my cock. Who gives a shit if you go to Wikipedia? Ew, you're a government-mandated website. Make Wikipedia is also a .org website. Fuck you and fuck your little pets, okay? Your little teacher's pets and shit. You can suck my little cocky. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> I would like to give a shout out to Brandon LeFebvre. Brandon LeFebvre, if you end up watching this video, I made this all because of you. You are my nigga. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday, but I didn't because, like, y'all, you be busy and shit. And, like, bro, happy birthday, bro. Like, I, you're getting up there, bro. You might, you're, like, my day one and everything. And I just, 
I, you know, I had to, I had to ball up for youth. Well, this you is know. the kind of woman I like, but this is like top five. Oh, like, what's that? What's that? What's that? All right. Um.